Well, there are certain projects that have been bandied around, ideas, um, that have been around for a long time, and this is one of them. I like, as you might have gathered, certain iconic English characters, but I don't, I don't think anyone else is necessarily interested in a retelling of the same narrative. So as long as you can hold on to the essence of the story, thereafter it's about dressing it up in uh, a form that I think is uh, accessible to a contemporary audience. Well, this was all about Arthur's journey, um, and it's only at the end that where we reveal the, uh, the round table. We thinned out some of the characters just because you only got two hours to tell this story, and if you one of the problems with um, Excalibur that was made in the 80s, I think, early 80s or 79 or something, yeah. is that it was too congested, the narrative was too congested. So what we did was we thinned it out so you can just follow a story of Arthur's ascension, as it were. Um, and that was plenty to be dealing with. It's the peripherally um, connected to some of the iconic characters, but really we've left them for another time. Charlie's enthusiasm pri primarily, um, he was so keen that he should make manifest eloquently of this role um, and then you know when you find out his lexicon of talents uh, you know he worked on a TV series for seven years which gives birth to a whole new breed of discipline and technical understanding of acting so he's very easy to work with we had a shorthand with one another and he you he and I were on the same frequency I mean we re recreated Londinium as uh, authentically as we could have done uh, to the historical blueprints. We then augmented it somewhat, but uh, you know, it's, it's one of the origin stories of, uh, of the UK. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, a primary, it's primary mythology, and um, you know, I think everyone can relate to, uh, to relate to that. I spent three years on the score. The score was the very thing that bridged the old world to the new world. So in order to tip your hat at uh, the antiquity of the myth, um, we, the music, one of the songs we used 1,200 years old, and then it's a, it's a reinterpretation of that song. But, you know, the, yeah, as I say, the, the score was a fundamental component. That was a thing that sort of fused the two worlds. It, yeah, my, my idea, you know, it's what I, if I was going to the cinema, it's what I'd want to see. And I think if you like my stuff, then you're like this. I mean, it's, it's in kin with that frequency. It's a frequency thing, really. Um, I don't know how many people like it over the age of 60, but, um, you know, it, it, it rattles along at quite a pace. Um, but that's the way I sort of do things, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got fed up with him being a good guy. It's about time he played a bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!